So we have here this um, 2005 Toyota Prius Hybrid, which um, we have some customer concern here is uh, the instrument cluster, I mean the pretty much is a cluster, this thing is the, the meter, the display um, is going dark, shut down and doesn't see anything there and sometimes they cannot turn off the vehicle so they brought it in for that reason so basically in, on this vehicle we are not doing too much testing because of uh, we have done over and over too much for these issues so basically it's a cluster you know like the first vehicle I had was acting up and I checked power grounds and communication and and everything was there and you know you do over and over the same type of um, thing so it take out of the magic to be doing the testing because you know we have done hundreds of these and without testing pretty much with that with the code with that code only and we haven't have any come back so basically here is one TSB and um, also on cold weather yeah you see this one is the description it say in some intense while the vehicle is in park mode the vehicle may not ready off so it means it won't turn off by pressing the power switch in this case the vehicle can archive ready off but by pushing and holding the power switch for more than three seconds so yeah that's the way how you turn it off think about home computer you know it doesn't want to turn off so you hold up the bottom until the vehicle shut off so that is one way to do it and also when the 12 volt battery fails sometimes they do the same thing too so we're going to proceed here with the video at the end i will be going more into the description of this thing and a little bit more also on this vehicle we had the high battery voltage issues um, so we replaced that high battery voltage. We didn't show that procedure here, but um, we had that code too. Here are Prius 2004, replacing the it goes here the like the cluster the upper part one fail all the time based on TSB I have that one here I already replaced that this one is the old one and here is the whole unit the board and here is the mess Gotta remove a lot of stuff here to get here. These are the instructions how to initialize add a new cluster. Kind of programming. Machine to uh, rebuild a high voltage battery, the HB batteries. So one Prius battery, another Prius battery, and battery for Honda. This is the HP battery. This is the battery. Uh, faulty battery, we replace it again because it came out of, out of the box. Uh, faulty, well, it lasts like about a week. So, we're gonna talk a, lot, a little bit more about this vehicle, like I was explaining there on the combination meter fail. <coughs> so there is one way to turn it off the vehicle you can see on top there on rail that's the way how to turn it off and um, there are some uh, instructions that are giving us the previous current part number how to do it reset the inclination sensor that is why I was showing there how to perform on red we can see here where it say uh, we should be um, doing the 
inclination, uh, meter, relearn, kind of that kind of stuff. I think we have more stuff here, like uh, right here. You can read that one. I don't have to read it for you. Have another one here. I think it's that one. It's the one I went through. This is um, when that code set is telling you here, right here, on the we'll put that on the lower part, P1271, combination means tab communication, trouble area, wire and harness, and meter. I haven't seen any you know wire and harness because if the vehicle is an accident, probably, but. There is, and this is this one too. <clears throat> Here are some guys who replaced them. See all the fixes. It's combination, replace combination meter. If there is something else, combination meter connector, combination meter connector. Hmm. I haven't seen that, but I, everything is possible here. So I wanted to talk a little, a little bit more about what happened with these vehicles when we're having um, this type of codes. You know, uh, let's see, we'll be showing this here, related to right here. I wanted to show this. Go through this uh, list of code here and explain a little bit what happened with these codes occur. We have this here. <clears throat> Basically, we're attacking right now the B1271 combination meter stop, uh, combination meter equ communication stop. So that's the one we're attacking here. Uh, still, on this vehicle, we replace the high battery uh, pack. This code P0880 replace battery pack. I might talk a lot, a little, I talk a little bit, a bit, little bit more about that one because we're a hybrid shop and we replace this thing a lot. So we work on these hybrid vehicles and uh, we're the only one uh, shop in town uh, besides the dealer who works on these thing. <clears throat> when we get that code, you gotta be probably 90 more than 90% sure you need a battery. Is is that you know like the accurate that code? Because what is that code doing is internal is comparing the voltage in between the modules and when there is a difference it's like 0 0.3, 0 0.6, something like that. In between it set the code. And for us we don't care what is basically what is failing because we're replacing the whole pack and the battery pack we get is coming with the whole battery pack, the, the wiring to the packs and computer. It's the computer inside and the relays control. They call, they call contactors to this. And then for us, you know, we don't do that testing because anything inside there is a problem and we're replacing the whole pack. But guess, guess what? There are only two companies here in the United States are selling those um, rebuild packs. Cordon and the other one is um, Dorman. And almost every battery we install, we got a warranty those. They pay for it, but it's still, you know, uh, they're, they don't last. They are not good. They, you know, they're, they're trash. But... Uh, Beside the dealer, you know, that's what we have on the aftermarket. And uh, this code too, B1421, solar sensor circuit. Ignore that code. Every preview has that code and most of the Toyota have that code. So that code is not a problem. It's a software issue for Toyota. Don't even think about troubleshooting that one. We have this code here, the P3000 here, battery control system. That code is being set on the HP battery, a HP control com uh, computer. So basically, this is a command from the 
from the first call. That one is on top, replace HP battery pack. So that call is set and it's sending a bunch of computers, you know, that are sending to the checking, set the checking in light, set the master triangle um, hybrid uh, display. It's sending, uh, a, it's sending a command for that one to the pre-2002 to, to set in there and it's sending a command to the <clears throat> ABS computer. Three calls usually you get on the HP computer or on the ABS computer when anything happened in between those two computers the on the HP computer and the HP control computer. They are setting three calls on the ABS and one of them say like um, regenerated breaks up uh, issues something like that but those, always they set three calls. So those three calls are not an issue. Those calls are always going to be there and you have to clear all of them in all computers in order to start this vehicle sometime. So I wanted to give you that piece of information. In the future I will be uh, uploading a video for uh, how to test for this uh, battery when the uh, P0A80 is failing and how to test stress test the HB battery. It's the capability they have to produce, transfer their energy to the dry train and then also when you pressing on the brake how how is that one capable to receive the 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 charging so keep tuned so soon i will do a video on that one